Now listen to this story that we will tell to you. The story of the Minnow, five passengers and crew. With Gilligan aboard the ship, the skipper by his side. An unexpected storm came up and tossed them with the tide. They found themselves a shipwrecked clan, lost on Gilligan's Isle. Gilligan and Skipper, the millionaire, his wife. The movie star professor and Mary Ann began a brand new life. What creatures they encountered? What riddles did they face? What mysteries did haunt them in a strange but happy place? On the new adventures of Gilligan, Gilligan, Paul on Gilligan's Island. Oh boy, the work's done for today. I think I'll just relax in my hammock and read my outer space horror western super detective and his dog spot comic book. <laughs> It's sure nice, occasionally, just to be alone for a while. Hi, Skipper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to get up for me, Skipper. I live here, remember? It's hard to forget that you have a nincompoop for a roommate, Gilligan. I do? Gosh, I forgot. Oh, look, Gilligan, you can have the whole hut for yourself for a while. I'll find some other place to be alone. I'll just find another place to read my comic book in case the skipper wants to come back here to be alone. Oh, by Jove, a man must have his moments alone from time to time to ponder the mysteries of the universe. But Thurston, I'm with you, so how can you be alone? That's one of the mysteries I'm pondering. <laughs> oh, Thurston, you're so deep. He isn't even in the water. You mustn't disturb Thurston Gilligan. He's alone. How can he be alone when the two of us are with him? Oh, Gilligan, you're pondering the mysteries of the universe, too. I am? Obviously, I can't be alone here. <laughs> Come, lovey, my dear. I was going to read my comic book here, but the Howells might want to come back to be alone. I'll find another place. I love me not. I love me. I love me not. I love me. Ooh, I'm so lucky to be here alone with someone I love. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to break in on the two of you. Gilligan, there's no one here with me. Phew. Then I don't feel so bad. I thought I was here. Gilligan, I like people, but there are times when everybody wants a bit of privacy. I'll find somewhere else on this island where I can be alone. Gosh, I'm never going to find a place to read my book without disturbing somebody. I know, I'm not going to disturb anybody here. Gilligan, don't sit there. Professor? Hey, Mr. Log, have you seen the professor? Logs don't have eyes, Gilligan. Gosh, then your nose is blinking, Mr. Log. I was hoping to be alone to observe the wildlife, but I guess that's impossible here. Maybe I can read my book in there without disturbing anybody. I found the one place on the island where I won't disturb anybody. Too bad the others don't know about this spot. Are, Are you, you kidding? kidding? <laughs> no. 
gosh. Where is everybody going? I don't know about the others, but I'm going to find myself a private spot on this island where I can live alone. Oh, me too. That goes for me also. And us. <laughs> right, my dear? <laughs> I'm forced to agree. After all, man's greatest thinking comes out of his solitude. I always thought it came out of his brain. No wonder I don't have great thoughts. <laughs> Won't you all be lonely? Who needs other people? What about this place? It's, it's all, all yours, Gilligan. Huh, just eight more people and I can start a baseball team. There, that'll keep the outside world out. Oh dear, Jack Frost was right, wasn't he? Good fences do make good neighbors. Robert Frost, the great poet, said that. Jack Frost didn't write poetry. Yes, of course. But how could he with all those frostbitten fingers? Oh, <laughs> there. Beware of snakes. That will keep people away. Soon I'll be able to devote myself to some uninterrupted research thinking. There. Now I can spend the rest of my life by myself. No more Gilligan, no more Howells, nobody. Think of all the people back in civilization being bothered by door-to-door -door vacuum cleaner salesmen. <laughs> and I don't even have a door. <laughs> nice of you to drop by. I was beginning to think maybe that the rest of the gang really moved away because I was boring them or something. I was beginning to think right, I guess. Boy, I sure don't like living alone. I wish I was an inventor. I'd invent myself some people. Hey, that's it. Hi, Skipper. Hi, little buddy. I was just sitting here batting down my hatches and raising my mainsail and things like that. Boy, Professor, isn't that right? Correct, Skipper. Say, Gilligan, what do you think of Einstein's theory of relativity? Gosh, Professor, I can't even say that. <laughs> Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Howell. What do you say? What do I say? I say that all that glitters may not be gold, but I'll take it anyway. Isn't that right, my dear? <laughs> oh, Thurston, you're simply precious. <laughs> There's Marianne and Ginger. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Ginger. Hi, Gilligan. I can't talk, Gilligan. I'm busy. I love you. I love you. I love you. Gilligan? Yes, Professor? Stop acting like a fool, Gilligan. We're not here. You're all alone. Gosh, Professor. Did you have to remind me? See you hit that. Try that. Watch this backhand. You'll never get this one. moving out to be alone. The skipper's gone, the howls are gone, the whole gang is gone. To be by themselves, probably forever. Ah, oh, solitude. <laughs> oh, by George, <laughs> there's nothing like it. Oh, you're right, dear. That's why I'm building this fence. A fence? Yes, dear. After all, a man must have his moments alone. But, my dear, you're a woman. <laughs> You say the dearest things. No, this fence will have to come down. 
I will not put up with my being on this side and you being on that side. Why, that's easy to solve, dear. You come on this side and I'll go on that side. <laughs> I never thought of that. Wait a minute. Lovey. This fence. Lovey. I want to be alone, Thurston. Why? Oh, oh forget it, Lovey. I'll, I'll just look at my coin collection or something. My coin collection? It's back at the compound. Where are you going, Thurston? Uh, to get my coin collection. Oh, it's so nice to be alone when all I have to think about is me. Now, where's my mirror? Oh, I left it back at the compound. I have to have my mirror. I'll take a sample of this pollen for study. I'll put the pollen on this slide. Oh, it fell to the ground. Hmm. Perhaps that's because I don't have a slide. And perhaps that's because I left the slides back at the compound. <laughs> oh, this is the life. Alone with only the open air and the trees, a comfortable spot with nothing to do but read. Oh, now if I only hadn't left all of my books back at the compound. Vast, <laughs> you lubbers. Release yon fair maid or I'll... You'll have to answer to me, Captain Swashbuckle. Take that! You did man overboard! My shirt is drenched. I'll have to change it. I left my other shirts at the compound. Gosh, it was sure nice of you to help me build that fence. That'll keep me from intruding on anyone's privacy. Want to play some go fish? Are you sure you never played cards before? <laughs> Go fish. What do you expect to get that way? I didn't think he'd get anything better than a two. You win. <laughs> hey, now I'm all alone again. Gilligan! Oh, Gilligan! Where are you, Skipper? I can't see you. Of course you can't. I'm outside this, this contraption you've built. That's not a contraption. It's a fence. Well, tell me where the door is. I need a dry shirt. There's no door, Skipper. You wanted to be alone, so I built a solid fence so I wouldn't disturb any of you. Gilligan! I can't answer you anymore, Skipper. I'd be disturbing you. Oh, Gilligan! Gosh, that's Mr. Howell. I won't answer him because I know he doesn't want to be disturbed by me. Gilligan! Gilligan! Oh, Gilligan! Gilligan, I'd like to come in. <laughs> They're gone. That's good. I didn't disturb anybody by answering them. Hmm, I'm getting hungry. I think I'll pick some fruit. I can't. I can't get outside the fence. Like they couldn't get inside. Unless I'll dig my way out. I must have hit a rubber tree root. It's a big balloon. U.S. Navy seven-man balloon? It must have gotten away from a ship or something and landed here a long time ago and been buried when the winds blew on it. Swell. I'm all alone, I'm hungry, and I find a big balloon. What can you do with a seven-man balloon except get off the island? Get off the island? I gotta tell the others. 
But I'd have to disturb them to do that. Hey, with this seven-man balloon, we could all get off the island. But the skipper and the others want to live all by themselves, without any people around. There's plenty of places they could do that back home. I'll tell them about the balloon. There's Mary Ann's place. Mary Ann? Don't bother me, Gilligan. But Mary Ann, I found a... I don't care what you found, Gilligan. You wouldn't let me back into the compound to get my books. But you said you wanted to be alone without people around and... Listen about the balloon. I'll have to tell someone else. <laughs> the professor, he'll listen. There's the professor. I should have known the professor would come up with something like this. <laughs> professor? Gosh, he can't hear me from here. Boy, I'm really getting forgetful. I'm walking, and I forgot to move my feet. <laughs> the professor's built a moat. Professor, it's me, Gilligan. I've got to get to him to tell him about the balloon. I'll try this. never work. I'm too scared to let go. <laughs> there. S.O.S. The professor will see that and know it's an emergency. Send out an SOS here, you really get action. <laughs> this is terrible. I found a way to get us off the island, and I can't get anybody to listen about the balloon. We could be floating away from here like a big bird, and that's it. I can't get in any of their compounds, but I can get over them. <laughs> that's it. Keep going. Okay, the gondola. <laughs> Ballast. <laughs> Pilot. Oh, that's me. <laughs> you may cast off whenever you're ready, gentlemen. so they all can see me. That's it. Now I'll get their attention, then land and pick them up. Hey, everybody! It's me, Gilligan. Look what I found. A balloon! Stop, Stop trying, trying us, Gilligan. Gilligan! They're throwing off the balloon. They think I'm trying to spy on them. Oh, gosh, what am I going to do? SOS! 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 That was... Gilligan, and he found a... Balloon! Interesting. Gilligan, it's us! The fence. Gilligan, the balloon, where is it? Oh, I can't wait. We'll finally get off this island. Gosh, it's gone. Gone? gone? You know, we have only ourselves to blame for that. 
Yeah, you threw rocks at it. It's more than that, Gilligan. We were each too busy building a wall around ourselves. You bet. If we hadn't tried so hard to live completely alone, we would have answered Gilligan and we wouldn't be in the fix we're in now. Well, a person does need his privacy now and then. Sure he does, but he needs other people too. Just like I needed all of you to help me with the balloon. You're right. At times, I may want to be alone with my dreams, but that doesn't mean I should forget about everybody else, even then. Okay, let's eat. Don't you think we're carrying the togetherness bit a little too far? <laughs> I'll tell you, little buddy, a bit of privacy is good for everyone once in a while, but I'm through with wanting to live by myself all the time. Me too. I don't want to wind up like my great-great-grandfather did. Your great-great-grandfather? What happened to him? He lived by himself for 20 years with no one but his dog for company. And then even his dog left him. No kidding! Yeah. He always sent the dog out for the newspaper with a nickel. One night he didn't have the chains, so he gave the dog a $20 bill, and the dog never came back. Did he ever see the dog again? That very same night, he saw the dog coming out of the movies all dressed up in a new suit. Gilligan, that's ridiculous. I never heard of a dog wearing a suit and going to the movies. Of course not. How many dogs have $20? Good night, little buddy. Good night. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> 